Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 18 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you are not yet watched previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. In the previous video we added our master data to the database. So in this video, I will show you how to display our data into Bootstrap tables using repeater control. First let's add our master data pages to the navigation bar of admin master page. Now we added and linked all our pages. To view our data in our page we can use bootstrap tables. Also we can use bootstrap panels. Panels used to display our data in a box. So in our scenario we can use tables inside panels. Copy the code. Open add brand page, inside our container paste our code. Here the first division is panel, you can use different themes for panel. Next is panel heading. Inside that our table. First create a table head for our header area. Create a new table row. Inside that add our table header. Next add table body. Create TR and table data. The TD will show our datas. Now refresh the page. Now you can see our responsive table is ready. Add th to make our number column bold. Now our table is ready, but it's not dynamic. We need to show it in our form. So in this we can use the repeater control. The repeater repeats the layout for each item in the data source. Add a repeater control. Repeater have header template item template and footer template. So let's make our table dynamic. Copy and paste header template tags. Header and footer template doesn't repeat. Next copy our item template, that are need to be repeated. Finally add the footer template. So we created our repeater with table structure and table row will repeat. Now we need fill our repeater with data from DB.
open code file. Always add checking of post back in page load. In page load create a function to bind repeater data. Create our select query. Add data source to repeater. In design page add column names to repeat the data using eval. Now refresh the page. See, all our table data is repeated in bootstrap table. Repeat this process for all other page.
In subcategory page we need to display main category name in repeater, so the main category name is added in different table, only ID is available in this table, so we use inner join. Now if we added a new data it's not showing in the table. So add bind function at the end of the button click event. Now we displayed all our data in responsive table with repeater control. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.